Good morning, folks. We've got a couple articles to hit today. Hopefully you caught last night's video. We've got a new way to answer your most burning questions, and we're starting with our star. Right now, all is calm. Solar wind, geomagnetic conditions, and solar flaring activity are all at or below ambient normal range. We do have a considerable amount of plasma filament activity and sunspots both departing and incoming on the south, so there's no shortage of reasons to have eyes open at the moment in terms of space weather, but we'll take the calm for now. A few days ago, we went over the unprecedented rain in China, smashing all previous records for monsoon output. Observers hopefully recall the dozens of papers on solar forcing of the monsoon. This one didn't even try to tie it to climate change, instead relating it to the cold vortex in the region. But scientists are also noticing tremendous drought increases and extreme mid-range shifts in patterns of all kinds. These shifts are way stronger than what would be expected from their climate models and instead reflect the unseen factor of the weakening magnetic field of our planet which we've been telling you for years, is expected to first present with biosphere changes like whale beachings and shifts in the jet stream when it comes to the atmosphere. This is what's driving the extra drought and extra rain simultaneously, which is also supposedly happening in the United States, at least east of the Rockies, with more rain coming down when it happens than before, bringing new meaning to the phrase, when it rains it pours. By the way, despite that fact, the Mississippi River looks more like a trickling stream in many parts right now. Again, these changes are more than just climate change, more than solar forcing. They're indicative of the extreme shifts to both directions, both extremes, as expected with Earth's weakening magnetic field. This ongoing geomagnetic event has been the focus of our question and answer videos, but it's getting harder and harder to get to them all. Of the questions submitted via our website, less than 1 in 100 are able to be answered. And due to the influx recently, we have started doing specific Q&A videos. Hopefully you caught the one last night and the day before. If you didn't, links can be found below. But even now, we aren't getting close to hitting even 1% response to the submitted questions. Several of you have expressed frustration at this. Why hasn't my question been answered? And I am sorry. There's no way to get to them all, or even a percent of them all. But for those who are just dying to have theirs answered, just can't wait, and want to get to me by any means necessary, there's now another option. On the website and in the links below the video in the description box, there's now an option to get a direct call with me. I'll literally call you on the phone. Book a short call, book an hour, and I'm there for whatever you have to ask, share, or need perspective on in other ways. Climate, space weather, catastrophism, your specific location and situation. Heck, I'll talk about your golf swing if you want. I'd say I apologize for that not being free, but all of us should value our time and I am no different. Plus, I'm raising three kids, managing a household, and have to keep up with a star, a planet, and over a hundred journals just about every day. We do greatly appreciate your support. Again, links to every resource below in the description box. Watch those Q&A videos we've posted if you missed them. We're going to continue that format going forward. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.